So recently, the Overwatch YouTube account has uploaded another developer update. As most of you who clicked on this video may already know, the Overwatch community consists out of nothing but crybabies. But this time they went a wee bit too far. In the words of Mr. Kaplan... And on the other hand, player reporting, so the amount of times that you guys actually report bad behavior, is now up 20%. So we're restoring faith in the system, uh, it's starting to work uh, much better, and it's actually having a big impact on the community. So we know those numbers are not as great as they could be. We know that the problem is not solved and things aren't perfect, but it's getting a lot better. And a lot of the initiatives that we're doing here at Blizzard are starting to make a difference. Um, we've instituted some really interesting programs on that front as well. Uh, I'll just give you one example. A lot of these we don't like to talk about because we don't want players gaming the system or knowing what we can catch you for or action you for. But I'll give you an example of one thing that we've been doing that has uh, proved, proven very positive. We now proactively seek out social media sites like YouTube, for example, and look for incidents of very toxic behavior and track down the accounts that are participating in those and action them oftentimes before anybody's even reported them or they've shown up in any other place. Blizzard is now actively looking on social media to find people they deem unfit for their game and ban them. Isn't that just the slightest bit juicy? As you can predict, some people weren't as happy about it as others, so I looked for some feedback in the comment section only to find a dumpster fire. Luckily, I managed to salvage some comments and read them for you here. I'm not censoring the person who posted the comment as I believe that everyone who said something here is truly behind their statements and their ideas should be truly credited. Spend your hard earned money on Overwatch where the dev team can ban you for spamming emotes, winning too often, playing just one character, being toxic, talking about things on social medias, Blizzard is always watching. You don't get a refund though. They hate toxic players but they love that toxic dollar. This is a comment whilst meant as a joke is actually very accurate. If you're going to ban someone who paid for a product from using said product, then give them their fucking money back. Otherwise, they literally pay to get censored by you, and that's pretty toxic, don't you think? Junkrat's grenades need a freaking nerf. He's literally the most noob tube character in the game. Diva did not need micro missiles either. Doomfist punch needs to be fixed. Ana needs something to be more useful and leave my scatter arrow alone. And Symmetra is fine as is. You can't criticize Overwatch only to say in that very same statement that Scatter Arrow is fine. That's, that's, that's not how it works. Really? No one talks about Moira? She is way too strong with her damage. Remember that she's a healer, not a damage dealer. But most of the players uses her only for damage and not the healing. So by all logic, Zenyatta, who can two-shot any hero with 200 HP or less, also needs a nerf. And about that damage dealing factor, Moira needs that damage in order to heal you. You know that, right? Just making Junkrat's damage to be 100% when only direct hit, and more it bounce on wall or ground damage that decrease. In that way, no more spam grenade and Paul just died to not knowing what happened. For his shift, make Junk himself... Alright, fuck, no, I'm not gonna do that accent. Just making Junkrat damage to be 100% when only directed and more it bounce on the wall or ground, damage gets decrease. In that way, no more spam grenade and Paul just die not knowing what happened. For his shift, make Junk himself to take damage of his shift or significant damage nerf on it, on if it is on the air, not sticking to anything. One grenade and shift just kill every hero under 300 HP pool. This combo is just way too OP at the moment. There's nothing you can do about it. So you're saying Farah should also take damage from her jack jump? Or Genji from his double jump? I don't know, I'm just asking. We are going to ban you for liking what we don't like. Thanks for letting me know to never do business with you clowns again. I'll stick to the only diversity that matters, ideas. And, and did you Orwellian wet dream rendered into flesh just actually ban someone for only having Torbjorn as a main character? Okay, let me make one thing clear. You can do anything to us Overwatch D, but you do NOT fuck with Torbjorn. Nerf Junkrat, his two OP 
P. I get one shot every time I face his bombs are everywhere when he throws them randomly and they take ages to blow off. And the bombs when he dies are like 400 damage that can kill even tanks. Please nerf him do something about his damage. See those bombs he drops when he dies are to prevent sad little shits like you from teabagging him after he killed you 8 times in a row. And about his bombs maybe just avoid? The spam? The level of ignorance by players is astounding. Maybe make a developer update with comments blocked. I can't even imagine all the whining Overwatch team has to put up with on our corner of the triangle. Thank you for your hard work Overwatch team. My wife and I love this game as is and look forward to the changes as well. We know you're trying your best. Heart. You're contradicting yourself there buddy. You can't enjoy a game as is and criticize other players for being ignorant because that means that you don't see the obvious problems with the game in its current state. You know that, right? All the people complaining about the bans for toxic people are just probably toxic players. Sick of those disgusting people. Really appreciated your choices, Jeff, and the rest of Blizzard. It's been really helping me get out as I suffer with a few issues which I get triggered when I get shouted at and such. Really nice knowing that people who are negative will be removed from the game. So you're telling me that the dev team should make a game where special little snowflakes like yourself don't have to be faced with criticism. Because that's what toxicity is at its core. Criticism. Go play a game like Splatoon laddie. Games with voice chats aren't meant for you. You know you might as well ban me now if this is what we're going to do. You have multiple times proven that you can't handle your community in any way, so might as well ban half of it now, so you can kill your poorly handled community faster and continue focusing on eSport instead of fixing your game or community. Blizzard are indeed not really handy when it comes to people. I even believe it would be fair to say that they should get some specific people to do just that, or fire those who are managing the community solely right- oh, FOR FUCK'S SAKE! Nerf Moira. Can't deflect her. Barely. No need to aim. Easy heals. Gets easy healing. Shoots orbs. Don't even need to get to the target to kill it. Nani? I think you just want to play Genji without being harassed by heroes that you literally cannot counter on paper. Here's an idea. Switch to another hero if you're not capable of dealing with beam heroes. How about that? What a joke. You can't ban a person because of a video they upload or say on stream. It's garbage. Better look at the reports and judge the player like any other. Being a public figure shouldn't matter and the bans and suspensions should be equal for every single player. I agree. The only reasons XQC was banned is because he's a figurehead who said something you, Blizzard, took out of context. And that is toxic. Please stop policing your customers and focus on your game. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Give Mercy an Uber check. Nine! Alright, sorry. What a person does or says in their personal life is none of your business and has nothing to do with the game. This type of garbage makes me not want to play Overwatch anymore. That only takes a load of the death team's shoulders, Lassie, since they don't have to track you down and ban you for disagreeing with their ideals. I'm glad they're talking about Symmetra. No character should have 0% pick rate in a competitive league. Ever! The sad truth is, at higher level gameplay, she falls off extremely bad. Bollocks! If a hero is situational, then they're meant to be just that, situational. Here's a deal. When Torbjorn's pick rate drops, the dev team will make sure each and every one of us gets an attack Torbjorn until his pick rate is high enough again. I will proactively not buy Blizzard games. There is no way I'm spending $60 on a game to find out I can't play it. Congratulations, Blizzard. You are now the only video game company I won't buy from. I hope the competition doesn't kill you. Sarcasm. I really do hope the competition kills you. Overwatch, first of all, is $40, and explaining an insult really takes the takes the oomph out of it. It's just, just a tip for you. If certain heroes aren't viable in every situation, how come heroes like Tracer, Genji, Soldier, McCree, Mercy, Diva, Orisa, and Moira are pretty much fine on every other map in every situation? One word. Versatility. Why is Torbjorn's ridiculously overpowered turret never looked at? It's so hard to destroy with most characters and it shoots way too far. Let's not even mention seeing his play of the game, of the turret killing everyone. Have you ever noticed that it takes 4 seconds for a turret to kill a 200 HP target? 
That's plenty of time to get out of its line of sight, walk back to spawn, pick either Farah or Junkrat, and deal with it from a distance. And about the play of the game part, so Soldier pressing Q and holding down M1 is also bad in your opinion? What about Deadeye? Or Death Blossom? LEAVE MY SCATTER ARROW ALONE, PLEASE! Anyone realize that Overwatch is a copy of TF2? Oh shit, really? Comments are full of triggered goals, SMH. Yep. The reason May's pick rate is so low is in respect for the other team. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that one just made me laugh. Absolute power corrupts, absolutely, Jeff. I don't think you see the monster you're slowly becoming. See, I pity Mr. Kaplan, I really do. Every time Blizzard comes up with another hilarious idea of theirs, he gets the blame. And I honestly don't understand how he puts up with it. Anyway, that's too much retardation for today. Let's see what the response to this video will be. Maybe I can have a laugh again. Until next time.